Nelson here again today and I'm going to be showing you a split channel card technique. Now to do this card today we're going to be using several of the dies. So I'll show you which ones we're using. I've got the Austrian collection, the Salzburg die. I've got two of the bows that I'm using in conjunction with each other. The classic bow, which is the solid and the new mosaic design bow. These are both three-dimensional bows. And to use the, or to make um, the split in the car, we're going to be using the French Collection border corner tag set. And our background will be embossed with one of the new pen point designs. This is called Rows of Bows. All right, let's move these out of our way. Okay, and get started now. First thing we want to do is do some cutting. So I'm going to use the border from the French collection and I'm going to tape it into place where we want it. Right about there. Get some of our double-sided tape and we'll just pop it right down to the bottom there and just try and get it as even as possible. I think I need it to be a little bit over. You can kind of use your uh, embossing areas there to kind of eyeball it and we'll put two pieces of removable tape in place. And we need our cutting mat and our base plate and run it through the grand caliber. Now if you're using other die cutting machines you can check the Creative Expressions website for the sandwiches for them. Okay, so now what we want is this beautiful piece for the top of our card and we're going to use this bottom piece for the bottom of the card. Now I've already got one of these done ahead of time so I'll leave this one for now and I'm going to do the uh, embossing. So I've got the top part here and we're just going to pop this into our embossing folder and just try and center it between the rows so it's nice and even. That looks pretty. It goes onto your base plate and then the raspberry plate on top and run that through. And let's see, move these over for us. Just get underneath that, there we go. Ah, look at how pretty that is. You can just see the gorgeous embossing on that. Love the way that new pinpoint looks. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now what I've done ahead of time is I've created a background with just some white card and then a piece of self-adhesive sticky sheet right here. And I'm going to cover that with some ice snow. So let me just put a piece of copy paper underneath us. And I'm going to peel this off so it exposes the sticky adhesive and we'll sprinkle some ice snow on it. There we go. Just move it around, and get it all covered. Tap off your extra and you can even do a bit of burnishing and take some more off so you don't waste it. Let me just pop that back into the container. We're going to use that again in a little bit. So I'll just set it off to the side here. Okay, so now you can see I've got an area here covered with that beautiful bling. So we're going to go ahead and put our backgrounds into place. And I've gone ahead and done some mounting foam on the back of this. We'll just pop it into place and raising it for dimension really gives it a nice look. So I've used two layers of mounting foam. Just going to center this. So excuse me while I lean into the shot a little bit. Get that nice and straight. And I've got a piece of mounting foam on the border I previously cut. I'm just going to put a couple little teeny pieces there to hold it up. And so you, what you want to do is spread that a little bit so you've got that reveal there. So pop that right down to the bottom. There we go. So you can see I've got a really pretty channel now 
for the beginning of our card is coming coming around. I've already done a, um, a base piece for it where I've matted and done some piercing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put that into place under that and then we'll work on our focal element. There we go. Just centering it between my pierced edges. Okay. Now, um, ahead of time, I used the Salzburg and I cut one out with the decorative uh, insert. And then I used the inside and outside cutting edge to give me the white part. And then I actually matted it with the aqua card to match it so it shows through. I've put a little bit of mounting foam on the back to raise it up. And we're going to just get this ready to go and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So I take all my little pieces off. Okay, set that for the moment. And I'm going to go to my stamped image. Now I went ahead and stamped in black on a piece of white card and I've covered it with a piece of self-adhesive sticky. And then I used the die to give me a relative range there so I know where I need to cut it. And we're going to just trim around the ex extra because this part you don't need to have covered with uh, ice snow. So I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming inside the line there. Might need to be tidied a little bit before we're done, but this will give us a basic shape. There we go. And I'm going to peel this up now. Get a hold of that. Let's set that to the side and bring our ice snow back over because that's what we're going to do. And we'll have a nice balance between the top and the bottom. So I'm going to cover this. Just pop it all the way around there. And there again, you can do a little bit of burnishing. Take some extra off. Let me tidy that real quickly. See how much comes back. There we go. Put the lid on. So now I've got the sentiment showing through, but it's really got that gorgeous bling, but it's still very, very easy to read. But because I'm going to be putting some mounting foam on that, I want to add a little bit of glue to make sure it sticks nicely. Anytime you have glitter products and you try and put mounting foam on there, it doesn't want to adhere very well unless you add some extra glue to it. Okay, so I'm going to pop that right over the top and there again I'm going to do a little leaning in just to make sure I've centered it. That looks nice and I do have a bit more of trimming to do just so it doesn't show. Oh, mixed a little spot right there. And you'll just have to give it a second to get the glue to really uh, set up on there. Trim a tiny bit more here. There we go. So now I've got the center of the um, focal element done. We will go ahead and put that together with some double-sided tape. And we'll build a bow. That is so pretty right there, just like that. And I've gone ahead ahead of time and I've cut out the mosaic bow in all the pieces that we need. So let me just gather them up together here. I'm getting lost in all my little rubbish bits. So I've um, done the top part, the mosaic bow in the white and then I've used the classic bow in the aqua. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of forming around my finger. Because remember, you've got two pieces of cardstock there so it is a little bit on the stiff side. And for the video, I'm going to be using some glue dots because it's a little bit quicker. When I do these at home, I always use Cosmic Shimmer glue and I'll put it on the ends in the middle and let it set so it gets nice and tacky. And I still think that even if you're going to use a glue dot, using a little bit of glue afterwards to really hold it in place is the way to go too. So I'll pop this over the side and just meets in the middle. And you can just kind of form it a little more with your finger there. Put one more here, form that around, there again, just keep it inside your finger and you can just form it, give it a little bit of pushing around and mold that loop. We'll do the next one, this is the smaller in the set. And you can actually make the bow with just the larger size if you prefer or the smaller, but I love the way the double one looks together. So we'll do some glue dots here. 
them on the edge. And there, let's see, let's get that one on there. And a little bit right there. Form that. Let's put one together to get them nice and stuck together. And remember, you've got a nice thick bow there because you've got extra cardstock, so don't panic about it being very, very um, thick. When you put your wrap around it, it'll be fine. And I'm just going to add a couple of glue dots on either side. Wrap that right around the center and secure it into the back. And we'll add the tails. One glue dot at the top should do it. Give it a nice little push. See how cute that little bow is. It's just absolutely adorable, I think. So I'll go ahead and add that onto the card and we can finish it up. I think it's just a perfect embellishment to sit below your sentiment here on your framed focal element. Now you can finish up the card with some flat back pearls in the corners along the border, but isn't that lovely? And you can easily use your borders to make these split channel cards anytime you like.